Hi everybody. So this is Mary Hall Scott and Mary Hall Scott and for those of you that don't know me and I am a part of the Micro PMU family also Permanent Makeup Designs uh, is my local business. I have three locations in Wisconsin and Permanent Makeup Designs Academy which is also located in Wisconsin but we've just opened our second location down in Southwest Florida in West Palm Beach. So super excited about that. We are the developers of the Micro PMU series. Um, for most of you that know us, this is a joint venture between me and Jenny Norris Brown. Um, we're a very small company, so we are bringing more um, acupuncture. We are bringing other cartridges to uh, the marketplace as soon as we can, but again, we're very small, so we've kind of had to do it one at a time. So what we've done, you guys, is last year, most of you know, we introduced the first acupuncture cartridge. Um, what we're releasing, and we just did, what, two days ago, I think, is a 3RL.22. So it is going to be considered a nano cartridge. Um, right now, currently, uh, the bug pin, which is known to body artists as the bug pin, is a 0.25, uh, which is the smallest on the market. So we've been able to make a 3RL, which is a 0.22. Uh, what we've done is we've kind of thought about what cartridges we wanted to bring out first, where is the need, we tried to think outside of the box. And in the academy when I teach, what I see all the time is I see people really struggling with a 1RL. So you have to remember when you see a lot of this stuff on YouTube or Facebook, you know, a lot of the artists that are working with a 1RL are very talented artists. They have a lot of experience. They've been artists for a long time. So, you know, it's a 1RL is very difficult to work with. Um, the pendulum technique is an advanced technique. The whipping technique is an advanced technique. Everybody has different names for all of these techniques, but those are advanced techniques. It's very easy to go too deep with a 1RL as it can penetrate the skin uh, very easily. Then, then you're going to heal cool. So there's a lot of thing about a 1RL that I saw people struggle with. So that was the reason behind the 3RL.22. I'm gonna turn it on. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is such a small configuration. I don't know if you can see that at all, or if you can see it maybe better against here. Um, it is super, super tiny. So what we've created this for is to work in conjunction with the acupuncture. But what I actually have here, and just for time's sake, I did it already. You guys don't have the bottom of the eye drawn in here, but you can see that this is the top of the eye. So everybody's doing this shading, shadowing, stardust. Everybody's calling it a little bit different. You can see with this 3RL, I came along the bottom, and you can make a very, very fine line. You can come out and make a very fine tip at the end. I shaded it in a little bit here with some circles just to fill in this. And then what I want you guys to know is what this shading is, is it's actually dots. So if I, I gotta put my goggles on here, you guys, and I just had eye surgery, so uh, forgive me, I'm a little bit blurry here at times. But if you're having difficulties with the 1RL and you're having difficulties trying to get this shadowing or shading done or the stardust, literally what you can do now is you can use your 3RL to draw a line, right? Just like I did on the bottom. You can make it nice and dark along the bottom. And if you wanna go a little bit lighter, you know, like I did to fill in that V on the eye, you can go just a little bit lighter. This is great to do circular motions with. But if you get to this shading part and you're having difficulties, and, and this is what we teach in our classes, so you guys will learn more in class, you literally can use this to do the dots and to shade with. So I really have to tell you guys, I can't take credit for the dots. I never knew about dots. I was never trained to do dots. Um, and then Dr. Anna Dixon, I took some of her classes and I learned the dot technique from her. It's absolutely amazing, you guys. Dots are gonna stay in the skin better. They're gonna last longer. You're gonna have really great retention with that. So let me wipe this off so I can show you. But you literally can do um, the eyeliner with the 3RL, the tight configuration. 
So I think you can see here the dark line, which was the line that I had underneath here. Right in here, you can see it's a little bit darker, which I had right here. And then you can see some dots on top, which I filled in here. So, you know, you absolutely, you guys, these cartridges clean so early, so easily. I'm sorry, if I wanted to, I could just clean this out. You can see the ink just comes right out of there. I could clean this out and I could start all over with another color. I like to add uh, the new Permablend color Peacock. I like to do little greens and blues in here to match the eye color. I think it really opens up their eyes and, and just is a beautiful touch. Um, this is actually two different colors of brown, you guys. So you can either use your darker color and, and uh, dilute it and lighten it, or I just went a couple shades lighter in the Perma Blend. So, um, but what I also want to show you is, so this, this can all be done with one cartridge. Um, if you like the pixeling or if you're ready for that technique uh, and you want to do the pixeling or the shading, Let's see, let's use the darker color here, just so that you guys will see it a little bit better. You absolutely can take out the acupuncture and just do some pixeling. And this is what you see when you see a lot of people using uh, the one, is you see the acupuncture. And you can just see those, see those dots that you're getting. That's what you want to see is the dots. That's the pendulum technique, the whipping technique. People are calling it all different sorts of things. You can make it darker if you want to, if you're doing like an ombre look on something, either on the eye, the shadowing, or on the eyebrow. But it's going to give you the acupuncture, you guys, is actually like more of a bullet-shaped tip. Um, it's not a sharp point. So you're gonna be able to do some of these pendulum and whipping techniques a lot easier. So we can clean that off here. By the way, we're trying out a new practice material, which is pretty amazing. So you can see the difference. This is where I went over it and over it. I don't know if you can see the fine pixels on here or not. I think I need to put a little bit more pressure on uh, the skin because this look how thick this is. This is something different that we're trying, but look at the difference you can get you know, with the dots, you can get a beautiful look or you can do the pixeling. Let me try one more time here just to get a little more. There we go. I just have to use a little bit more pressure on the skin. There you go. So you can, you can see the darker or the lighter shades. So, but anyhow, you guys, again, we're a small company. We're bringing things to the market as quickly as we can. Um, both Jenny and I, Jenny works in plastic surgeon offices. She has an arts degree. Um, I have two medical degrees and a physics degree. So we try and think about the science of everything. We try to think about what can we bring you? How can we step outside of the box? Um, and we think we've done that being the first ones to bring the acupuncture cartridge and then now being the first ones to bring a nano cartridge. So again, that's our 3RL.22. So you can order those at Micro PMU Tattoo Supply. Thanks.